everybody, this is Nia Feiler. I'm here with the Evolutionary Astrology message this time from the end, the 25th, 26th of November 2022 up to the middle of December. So we're coming in from a new moon and um, Venus is still very active in the sky. It's going to be on the Dragon South node soon and the Venusian properties that we were working so much with over the past few weeks are still there. I'm not going to mention the work again. You could look at my past video at my previous video for that. But that Venusian work is not over yet. And there's still a lot of aspects to Venus over the coming weeks as well. This is a time energetically in the sky that we could feel bewildered and flooded by the oncurring waves of reality upon our shores that we cannot deal with everything all the time anymore. Uh, what does help us in the sky is the fact that not only uh, like what is bewildering and combobulating is Mars squaring Neptune. What is helping is that the same Mars is trining Saturn, helping us to, you know, buckle up and, and uh, you know, step up to the challenge and be more mature and strategic about things and move mountains one step at a time, one step at a time. Venus is trying in Chiron at the end of November, which helps us actually move forward and scrape away from ourselves behavioral patterns that don't have to be there when it comes to Venusian subjects, the relationships to our senses, to money, to matter, to our body, to ourself, within relationships and love, to money. And actually understand that there are patterns that have been beneficial in the past but don't have a place in our future. It's about exactment and purification and alignment. When we come to the mercurial realm of communication, information, and are moving through our environments, whatever is connected to roads, transportation, and the transportation of information, we find that this is a critical time. This is a very Martian time in the sky. Mars is at a position at the 8th if I'm not mistaken, of December. It's, it's the closest approach to Earth. And we can feel the Martian energy. It's in retrograde and Gemini. Again, mercurial subjects of communication and transportation. So we all have to drive more carefully, cut our salads uh, a, little, a little slower. Uh, when we work out, not give it, you know, the, our 100%, but maybe only 90 And especially with the way we communicate, and move through our, our our days. You know, Mercury is also Virgo, which is in charge of our daily pattern and movement. So all of these are subject to in, interruption by martial energies, you know, Martian energies, testosteronic male energies, because Mars is in charge of this male energy within all of us. The energy that calls us to move forward, to initiate, to fight for what is right and defend what is right. That is in charge of our feelings of um, anger and our feelings of uh, sexual attraction. So all of these are heightened. And when it comes to an opposition to Mercury, we all have to be a little more careful. Uh, it's a great... Uh, it's an infamous time for uh, car, um, you know, like either car trouble or, uh, God forbid, um, crashes, you know. Like when we go into an accident on the road or something like that, people could be driving like crazy. What helps us is that the same Mercury is sextiling Saturn, helping us to be more mature, understand that our words and our actions have a strategic value right now, and consider it. Mars is quincunxing almost exactly Pluto on the 30th. This is a time that could be frustrating, feeling like things are against us or, or not moving forward as fast as we wanted them to. Breathe into it, you know, and it will pass. It will pass. Just breathe into it. 
Um, after that, we have Mercury squaring, squaring Neptune on the 1st of December, which means that there could be a lot of fogginess in the air when it comes to understanding what is right, what is the right direction, what should we be doing, where should we be heading, where is this all going? Where is this all going? And Neptune is still heading hard when it's going to hit a square to the sun at the middle of the month. The way I portray to my clients is that we understand on a consciousness level that both personally and collectively the port that we were in is too small for us. It's not apt for us anymore. We need a bigger, safer, better port to haul our ships in. My ship as a neophyler and all of our ships as humanity. And indeed, we've taken the first steps on, us, on this journey and we've stepped away. You know, we started rowing out of that port and we're in a stage in which we can't see the lights of that shore anymore. It's only water out there. On the other hand, the shore we so much wish to get to is still hidden from our, from our sights. There's only water out there all around. And you know what? It's foggy as well. And I'm not even sure that we are rowing in the right direction. And what I tell my clients to do at this time is, you know, make an inner rhythm, Indians. Make an inner metronome. Europeans <laughs> and have a pace that recognizes that this oceanic current that you're in right now is too strong for you to go against. You need to learn how to work with it and within it. And within that frame, you have a responsibility over your own oars. And you need an inner rhythm that doesn't keep you in place but doesn't exhaust you as well. Understanding and believing that one day I and all of you will get to the shores that we dream of, that we're rowing towards, even though we can't see them just yet. How can we get our pleasures and, and satisfaction at this time? Venus is in opposition to Mars, so this is a time that we can certainly enjoy the carnal flavor of things. We need not to overdo it as it squares, uh, uh, um, it squares Jupiter and it squares Neptune as well. We need to keep it realistic, keep it real. Uh, don't overextend yourselves. Don't overdo things. Um, don't drink it, love too much, but just enough to, to feel happy and content about that. This is not a good time for financial risks and, and all kinds of, uh, you know, propositions that might be a bit on the shady side. Um, Mars is the exact opposition at the 8th, very Martian time. Watch yourselves, watch your words, watch your anger. Watch your uh, testosterone in general and watch it when you're on the road and moving through the through life. The 12th and the 13th are very uh, good days in sense of work, career and taking things forward on a strategic level as the sun sextiles Saturn. But just after that on the 14th we have the square to Neptune, uh, which we talked about already. So that's about everything. I had to say this time and I want to remind you that if you want a course or you want a reading with me um, all my details are at the end in this slide and I want to thank you for sharing this and commenting on this and just being yourselves may you all may we all live long and prosper this is Nia Fader Shalom